Hello everybody and welcome to a speeding episode of Tiny Little Games. I review free to play mobile games because I can't afford real to play games because I like my games like my food, fast and cheap. Today I'm reviewing Breakneck, the newest neck breaking movie starring Steven Seagal. Or is it just the latest free to play mobile game by the developers of Into the Dead? Yeah, that sounds right. Breakneck is available on Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. An endless hovering, obstacle avoiding, booster thrusting, free to play, endless high speed score achieving extravaganza. Yes, Pickpoke is at it again with yet another endless type game. Take your Star Wars prequel speeder into a vast futuristic race against, well, yourself. The goal is to get as far as possible before the nefarious blue light catches you. Don't go into the light. Get close to walls to gain a boosting ability and achieve breakneck speeds. I get it. The name of the game is the game. Then try all over again reaching different zones to beat your previous run. Buy specials to help your run, such as warping ahead or XP multipliers. Upgrade ability pickups, customize your speeder, and repeat in a never-ending cycle of endless wall avoiding runs. Nothing is especially new here. In fact, it may seem like a fresh take on the endless genre, but in reality it doesn't reinvent the wheel. It just takes the wheels off. That doesn't mean there isn't fun to be had. The game does a great job of pulling you into a frantic, fast-paced world, with high-score achieving addictability. As if the Tipple Run guy bought a fancy hovercraft and hit the NOS button. Next up, graphics! Imagine a futuristic world where mobile games look like console games. Oh wait, that's the world we live in. Yes, the graphics are top quality AAA eyeball pleasing goodness. Your vehicle shimmers with metallic gloss, the environments are detailed and wondrous, and the draw distance could be better. But I can't complain when the graphics are this good. Every zone has a unique otherworldly feel, and the colors all blast your eyeballs with delight. Everything about the graphics are a fine-tuned machine. My only complaint is with the cumbersome menus that have you tapping through screens just to start the next run. Altogether, it comes in as one of the best looking endless games. Like a quality graphics card was strapped to your device and boosted into an alien planet. Finally, free playability. I wonder what's the miles per gallon on these things. Hopefully more than the cost of an in-app purchase. Now I don't want to be harsh here, mainly because it has the typical shard revive after crash method. And of course shard purchasing is here as well. What really grinds my gears is the fact that these same shards are used to upgrade abilities. Other games use the collected in-game currency, giving you a reason to replay runs for collection. Here it is almost impossible to upgrade without eventually spending money. Now you can get these shards by completing challenges, but I feel this tactic is on the shady side. Also, I've never seen a credit card ad in a mobile game. Better yet, how about a cereal ad? This just makes me want to use my credit card to buy a box of cereal. Altogether, I am both bothered and severely confused by its free playability. Now, I rate my games on a 3-point scale, that's download it, give it a try, and waste of space. With a plus or minus to account for a gray area. Breakneck avoids, speeds, and boosts its way in as a give it a try. The fast and the futuristic. The gameplay is mobile wipeout, the graphics are a futuristic race, and the free playability is a total wreck. Let's strip this game down to the basics. It's a generic endless runner with a shiny coat of paint. With that said, I had fun with the gameplay and what it had to offer. It definitely has a challenging addictive quality that other runners seem to miss. The quality graphics are an added bonus, yet the aggressive microtransaction scheme was a letdown. Blocking further upgrades behind a paywall just seems a bit too money grabby for me. Altogether it does just fine for what it sets out to be, a futuristic run racer with glorious graphics. So if you ever wanted to feel like a year 3000 speed racer with a knack for alien travel, then give it a try. Or if endless zones of maneuvering through debris and microtransactions sounds like a rocking good time, then why not? As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and share so others can experience my content. It's time for me to run to the grocery store at breakneck speeds for a box of Fruit Loops. Ah, oh, my childhood.